So this is how 2023 came to an end. But once again, I asked myself, how did I get here from where 2023 started? At the beginning of 2023, we were in Idlewild, essentially where the previous video starts off and also ends. We took advantage of the fact that we were there to just enjoy the rest of the town. And a little bit further down the road in, in Riverside, we took advantage of seeing the lights at the Mission Inn, the Christmas lights at the Mission Inn, as they were still up at the beginning of the year. Also uh, took the time to have the girls come over and uh, we also had a nice dinner together. And, you know, we, we took one of the first pictures that we ever took of each other. Squeezed in a Firebirds uh, hockey game. The name is actually quite appropriate considering it gets so hot out there in the desert. And we also made some arrangements to go and get our engagement slash wedding pictures done a little before schedule so we can actually have some time to take advantage of some of the lighting, some of the unique features that are out there in Palm Desert. This is one of my favorite ones, the one with the windmill, and of course, this one here. A wedding date is 32323, coming up soon, later in this video. Took some time to go to a car show. This is uh, Palm Desert, and there is uh, this is actually Coachella Valley where they have the polo fields. And so they have this huge car show there, uh, usually once a year. And I had the opportunity to go and see this one with some friends and just kind of hang out, get some sun, and appreciate what Palm Desert has to offer. And they have a lot of... Uh, a lot of big events in uh, Coachella Valley, including Stagecoach and the Co Coachella Concert. Emily came to visit us. We got to go to the, the zoo and uh, see some giraffes and some other animals. We got to feed some of the giraffes. And of course, you know, Palm Desert has all these concerts to go to and we did take advantage of going again to another concert. We saw this couple that were dancing in front of us, and these two are not even together. So the girl is actually with the cowboy on the right there, but it was just fun to watch this. And they just danced like absolutely nobody else was in the room. And that's where I kind of thought that might be the right name for this particular video, the dance. As I started seeing more and more people dancing, I started seeing myself dancing more. But ultimately, I did not call this the dance. And here's us at the county built building. We are in line to get our marriage license. And we went on a couple more hikes. This one is called The Cross. I have a separate video posted on that one. We got to do some bingo here and there. We got to hang around Palm Springs and just enjoy some of the art and other fairs that uh, Palm Springs has to offer. We did a, a tour of all the classic retro buildings in the area. Um, got to see some famous houses, um, some people, some famous statues, and uh, just enjoy ourselves in Palm Desert. This is a funny story. So we're at this restaurant where they serve margaritas that are so strong, they will only ever serve you two. And so we went home and we started dancing to Billy Joel. And the next thing we know, we have tickets for the very next day to go see Billy Joel. So we also had floor seats. This was both of ours first time to SoFi Stadium. And this place is huge. And so technically we had chairs, floor seats, numbered seats, but they weren't fastened down in any way. They were really just lawn chairs. And so by the time the concert started, we had kind of been pinched out, which left us no place to go. And so we just kind of ended up unofficially behind the mixing board and dancing. And so I'm just gonna shut up so that you can kind of see how the situation ended up.
So I guess I have to do a little voice over here to keep from copyright protection. But here we go, going back. So you can see why I almost called this the dance. Three, two, three, two, three. Our wedding day. <clears throat> so we had some friends come into town from New York and we hung around with them before the wedding. We did some manicures and pedicures and all those kinds of things. And uh, it was actually pretty fun. I got my hair done. Annette had a makeup uh, person come and do makeup for for all the women in the in the wedding party. And uh, we took some pictures around town. And uh, yeah, there's two guys with flowers in the middle of Palm Springs. So that was just fine. And the restaurant that where we had the uh, the the venue was just perfect. We kind of had artwork surrounding the entire area that we were our wedding was, and it was just perfect. Our good friend Lindsay was the officiant of our wedding and she this was her first wedding that she ever did this for and she did perfect. It was wonderful having such a good friend do that for us. It was wonderful having my daughters there and here's a picture with Becca holding the flowers. It's become quite famous and uh, family, close family and friends and a good meal and it was just awesome. The restaurant where we had this was 849 Restaurant, and shout out to them. They made this perfect with the, art, with the service and the drinks and the food and the art on the walls. This was definitely the high, my highlight of 2023. The day after the wedding, I got to hang out at the poolside in Palm Springs with this beautiful woman who's, it, it's, she's, bringing me, she's bringing me a drink. Oh my gosh, you can't get any better than this. Neighbors decorated our door. We had some time to go to an, another little wine event with some friends and just had a spectacular time. This was the, the Palm Desert food and wine event that they have once a year. And this was a really nice event. They had lots of food vendors. They had lots of wine vendors. And it was just the perfect place to celebrate what was the last few days I get to spend with my new wife. So I hit the road to go to Tennessee, mostly because I had a job opportunity that I accepted in Tennessee. And I wanted to go to make sure, one, I liked the job, I liked the area. I got to stay at some pretty cool little Airbnbs. And the guy that owns this little place above his garage, he sells boats. And uh, a new nickname for Dollar was the little burrito. I got uh, out of my office into a little into a cubicle. So, arriving in Tennessee, I was a little bit sick. I'd lost my voice. I had to do my best to try to f meet people with not even being able to talk. I had to uh, just basically get this bed in a box. I ended up finding an apartment that was affordable. The Corgi approved, of course, and uh, definitely approved. He's got a little balcony there, and. Uh, just made this work while I was here by myself, settling into the new job here. So this new place is technically in Knoxville and Knoxville area. So that's where we, we uh, where I am here. I'm doing some training on some environmental stuff that I do. And no, I'm not a secretary. We do a lot of Skype calls and stuff like that. So that's where I'm on Microsoft Teams and so forth. Um, the uh, Annette actually flew out after I had, had determined that uh, we liked the position so that we could look at some houses, check out some fancy places downtown. And uh, I really enjoyed her visiting. It was very welcome considering I hadn't been feeling well. We spent a lot of time rapidly searching for properties, made a few offers here and there, and did finally end up finding a nice uh, place to purchase. And then uh, she left and went back to California to essentially wrap up things. 
And so here's part of the house before. Um, furnished it. We did some rapid furnishing, but uh, washers and dryers, and then Annette had to take off to go back to California. Closed on the house uh, after Annette had left, so I was able to send her pictures of the keys and all that stuff. Uh, traveled back and forth to Clarksville here and there, which is uh, on the other side of Nashville, and spent a little time in Bucky's, which is a uh, my first time at Bucky's is more of a phenomenon than an actual travel center. I think if you've never seen a Bucky's, you're missing out. As part of the move and kind of like a little mini vacation, I went back to California and spent some time for the 4th of July in our favorite spot, Idlewild hung around uh, there. It's also a little car show. This is the, one of the most epic photo bombs that I've ever heard, seen. I didn't actually even know that I had been photo bombed for like about a week or two when I was watching. Life has these moments where you're sitting in this just the perfect temperature and you're with the perfect company and you've had the perfect amount of wine or whiskey or what have you and the buzz is just right and I call these uh, spectacular moments in life. After taking a day to recover uh, from a night of drinking that I was intentionally left out of this video, uh, we did a little bit of hiking here and there, which was really nice. This was a very easy, kind of uphill, downhill, uh, two-mile <laughs> hike that we went on. Thank goodness I was on the trail at just the right time because I think I saved quite a few lives down downstream there. And uh, all, overall, we just had some good times, kind of wandering around Idlewild and seeing some of the uh, 4th of July parade and uh, having some good food and walking around. Old mini car show too. <laughs> For the actual Fourth of July fireworks, we were actually back in Palm Desert at our little condo there. This was the view from just the basically a couple houses down, and then we spent more time just to hanging around in Palm Desert. This is this dog is actually one of the neighbors' dog. Um, that Annette likes to kind of babysit and walk uh, essentially where we were watching the fireworks from just moments ago. And uh, did some packing, started to pack up Annette's stuff for her move to Tennessee. Uh, she actually moved out of here into a smaller place in the meantime. We packed up uh, a U-box full of stuff and headed back into Orange County to see the girls. Got to see the girls one last time to have dinner, went to Disneyland, and also had a very special occasion. This man, young man, Alex, asked for Emily's hand in marriage. And of course I said yes, and off back to Tennessee. Back in Tennessee, continued uh, working on my new job, helping another scientist with some uh, some other projects that they work on. And all in all, I gotta say, I can't believe I'm getting paid for this. Some days at work are much better than others, and this was a beautiful day on the lake. The more I explore Tennessee, the more I love it. On the weekends, I spent some time driving around Tennessee, got some new windows on the, on the other house. Um, otherwise, it's looking pretty good. The previous windows didn't open at all. This was really needed. Got back on the plane for what would be really the shortest hit and run to, tech, to California ever. This was for uh, a special occasion. This was the little uh, hotel we stayed at, but we basically were there 
for Steve and Lindsay's wedding. Now she did the, she was our efficient for our wedding and we could not miss this for anything. And it was her special day and it was beautiful. This is actually uh, just at the park that's right next to their house. So they have this fantastic place to have a wedding. And so we really enjoyed it and we we're glad that we were there to share that with them. So now you can kind of see why I almost called this episode the dance. I asked myself why I do these videos, and I guess I don't really know the answer to that. All I know is that I've always enjoyed doing these videos as early as the early 1980s. I've had videos that are either trying to be funny or special effects or what have you. I started these videos with the 2021 video because it was kind of the end of the pandemic, kind of still in it a little bit. I'd moved around quite a bit and people asked me, like, how did you get, I thought you were living in Tennessee, how did you get here? And so it was my attempt to just put together something and just share with them about that. There is a much bigger story. In the process of getting things ready, it turns out that there was a F2 tornado that came within about 800 feet of the new uh, house that we bought. And here's some scenes of some of the local area that kind of got ripped up a little bit. Uh, downed power lines and the power was out at the new place for about a week. And it turns out it was a pretty good timing because I still had the apartment so I wasn't you know, basically without power or refrigeration or anything like that. The only damage to the house was this uh, tree blew over from the front of the house to the back of the house and it knocked one spindle off the deck. Overall, I'll take it. Continued uh, moving after the uh, power got turned back on. The trailers arrived from California. I got to unload those, put those in the new house and got ready for the main event. Annette and I had our honeymoon in Argentina, and I cannot put into words how amazing this was. There was too much footage to put into this video, so there is a separate video on just this experience. Look for it here on YouTube. Arriving back in the United States marks the period of time where Annette is officially moving to Tennessee, and they are our beginning of our life in Tennessee. Not a bad start to living in Tennessee. <laughs> so our house was uh, in good shape, but we did some uh, quick fixture-upper things like installing these entertainment cabinets. So Annette was inspired and we got a little bit of the remodel bug and started immediately on the master bathroom remodel. Can I? Yeah. That was a good one. So that it's not all work, we like to get out for the weekends and do a little bit of playing. Where the people all live so fine. Well, my baby said I was crazy. My mama called me lazy. I was gonna show them all this time. 
the Kill the Lights Beer Fest is a uh, Halloween themed beer festival put on by one of our local breweries here. And of course we had to go to that right away and have some fun and some beer. And as I explained earlier in another video, Annette likes plays and so do I. And we discovered the Tennessee Theater. With the holidays now upon us, we spend time with our new and probably best friends that we have here in Tennessee and had Thanksgiving with them with one of the best turkeys I've had. Helped put together a chicken coop at their new location and just enjoyed having some holiday fun. We started decorating probably a little bit too early, but we were kind of excited. We had a new tree and all kinds of new decorations. And so we got ourselves in the spirit since we were gonna be spending Christmas alone this year. Overall, I have to say Christmas in Knoxville was not too bad. We spent the New Year's in the Clarksville area, mostly to discover some of the nice d distilleries that are in the area, and we found some really, really good ones. And we have our, now some of our favorite places to stop. So we spent actual New Year's Eve in downtown Clarksville at this little place, which leads us back to the beginning of this video. It's like the first cast when the water's glass and the line starts to run. 2023 was like this calm stream where a lot of distance was traveled. The river behind me, Provenance, stretches far back to wonderful moments, carefree days of fun and laughter. It also passes through rough rapids, gorges and dangerous falls that came out of nowhere. Strong currents that sent me down different courses a dangerous confluence, things hidden just below the surface, sharp branches, rocks, beasts, snakes. Along the way, I lost fellow travelers, stuck on high ground or carried away. Just around that curve is unknown. Hold on tight to our most prized passengers, aggressive and skilled oarsmen that fight the dangers alongside of you. Strapped in come hell or high water, earning the peace of calm water and sunshine, like this. But alas, these stories are all half measures, the full measures of which I have thus far been guarded to tell, to respect my fellow passengers. But the full measure will be told someday, just as sure as this boat will reach its final slip. The path ahead of me may be misty, uncertain, but I am grateful. I trust my captain.